Welcome back. I'm Jocelyn Bamford. My guest today is Toronto mayoral candidate Anthony Fury. Anthony, crime is on the top of mind for those who live in Toronto. Share with us your thoughts on the current situation that's happening right now. Well, the current situation, Jocelyn, is that I'm knocking door to door. I'm meeting with community groups. Everybody, no matter walk of life, neighborhood they live in, they say they are concerned. There are so many people who don't let uh, their teenagers, their children take the subway anymore. They'd rather be driving them around because they just don't know what's going to happen. There's so much violence going on. Uh, a couple action items to highlight that I'm going to be really strong on as mayor. Number one is Toronto has fewer police now than we did in 2014. And obviously the population has grown a lot since then. That is not acceptable. We're going to prioritize our officers. And one thing that's also important is we're not going to demoralize our officers. There's been the sense in recent years that if police do their job, sometimes politicians in City Hall throw them under the bus. If, if they're caught on camera doing something that, uh, uh, that, that, quite frankly, you know, needs to be done. And I think a lot of officers are saying, why should we be proceeding uh, with our jobs if we're not going to have the support of the upper brass and politicians? To be clear, we see the bad apples doing things and, oh boy, they need to be dealt with aggressively. But when it comes to just police doing their jobs, we have to stand up for that. And I'm the only major candidate for mayor who is at, who has not at some point thrown the police force under the bus. The only major candidate who has not at some point sided with the radicals. Uh, item two, Jocelyn, that I really want to highlight here. One major driver of the crime and random attacks that we are seeing on our streets and on our transit system is related to the drug crisis. We're not talking about it enough, but most of these attacks are done by people who are, who are troubled by drugs. And yet the city wants to create more drug injection sites. And I have announced that as mayor, I will say no to these new sites. And instead, we will flip those committed resources into treatment centers because a compassionate society doesn't keep people on drugs. It helps them get off of it. And by doing that, we also make our families safer. Now, transit safety is a very much top of mind. I know that uh, when that tragedy involving that 16-year-old uh, boy that was stabbed, it, minding his own business, I, I'm sure a lot of us with teenage sons thought, you know, that could have been my son. So what would you do to address safety on transit? Yeah, well, we're going to be having more police officers for sure, because the headcount is down. The headcount needs to be up. We need to be moving in that direction. And I think people also need to see a visible police presence, because right now we seem to suffer from what they used to call the broken windows theory. Jocelyn, we are allowing many minor infractions. What's going on in the subway is, and you know, people got angry at me for saying this, but I don't care. You know, I've said I'm not going to uh, kiss the ring of the radical activists. The subways now stink. Uh, they never used to before. The subways are dirty. They never used to be that way before. And there are people who are treating the subways like their home. Now, Torontonians are, are compassionate people and we care about the homeless population, but we just can't have people who are in a vulnerable state, in a, in a, a drug-induced uh, state, in a state prone to violence, ruling the roost on public transit. So a visible police presence that shows that even minor infractions will not be tolerated uh, sends a signal then that you better believe major infractions ain't going to be tolerated. And that's uh, something I'm going to be sounding quite strongly as mayor of Toronto. Now, gang violence was on the radar last summer. It seems to um, petered away as we deal with the drug issue, but it's still right there on the back burner um, and the front burner. So how would you address gang violence and the rise in Toronto? Yeah, well, we're going to be talking to police officers about what are the tools that they need uh, to identify what's going on and to properly disrupt these gang networks. And I'll be having a productive relationship with the Toronto Police Services Board about what they need to actually get this going here. One of the other big things is, as mayor of Toronto, I will be the biggest voice advocating for issues like bail reform when it comes to the federal government. The federal government's also focusing on a, a gun grab scheme that is more about uh, seizing the firearms of otherwise law-abiding citizens. And I'm just not sure if our resources are best spent on that. I'd like to allocate our resources towards going after the actual criminals, the hardened criminals who are bringing the legal firearms into Canada and finding ways to tackle that. And one of the great uh, privileges of being the mayor of Toronto is that when you speak loudly, the whole nation can listen. And oh boy, I intend to speak very loud on these issues. Uh, I believe it. We have about 30 seconds left. What is the number one issue when you go to the door, you hear from people? Safety, safety, safety. 
So we got to deal with these drug injection sites. We got to deal with the gangs. People are having their cars stolen left, right, and center. We've got to show that law and order is back in Toronto. And as mayor of Toronto, Anthony Fury, I will make that happen. We need to take a quick break. You're watching Canadian Innovators. More from Anthony Fury, Toronto mayoral candidate. When we come back, don't go away.